contribution to science. I'm Nicholas Kaplan. I'm Psycho Brown. I'm Johannes Kepler. I'm Ivy. That's it. The sun is the center of the universe. Before, we previously thought that the earth was the center of the universe and the planets revolved around that. But now I know for sure it's the sun. I'm Nicholas Copernicus. And I'm a Renaissance mathematician and astronomer who formulated a, the first heliocentric model um, of the universe with the sun at the center of the universe. Now I'm going to show you an example of my diagram in 3D motion. Don't need this anymore. Hi, I'm Tycho Brahe, and I was the first to observe a supernova and record the planets around the sun without a telescope. Whoa, look at that supernova! Hi, I'm Johannes Kepler, a German mathematician and astrologer. I created the laws of planetary motion. The first law is that the paths of orbits, or the planets, are ellipses with the sun at one focus. <laughs> And imaginary line from the sun to a planet sweeps out equal areas and equal time intervals. The square of the time period of a planet is directly proportional to the cube of its average distance from the sun. That was an example of my second law. Hi, I'm Ivy Noon, and I created the three laws of motion. The first law is the law of inertia, which states that every object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. The second law is F equals MA, which means force equals mass times acceleration. The mass of this tennis ball is three grams, and the acceleration is five meters per second. So using F equals MA, what's the force, kids? 15. Good. The third and final law is that for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. Time for a student's demonstration. For every action, there's an opposite reaction. See, when the ball hits the ground, it bounces back up and makes a noise. Another thing I discovered is gravity, which simply means that what goes up must come down. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. She's alive.